Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and today we're going to be taking a look at installing a game and the associated mod. If you're looking for gameplay, expect that to be another video going up at the same time as this one, and feel free to check that out instead. We're going to be installing Jagged Alliance 2, which is a game over 15 years old, and a lot has changed since it originally released. In preparing for gameplay videos, I encountered a lot of posts online with technical issues getting everything working. So I decided to make this video just to help out anyone who might be struggling getting the game plus mod running on a modern computer. You'll find links in the description if you'd like to skip ahead to a specific step, but without further ado, let's get started. To save a little bit of time, I've gone ahead and downloaded all the files already and uh, put them on my desktop just for easy handling. This is the installer for the game itself, and then these are the two self-extracting zip files for uh, the mod. The installer is from GOG.com and is pretty straightforward. It's just a double click and then at the administrative rights prompt, go ahead and click yes. And when the installer comes up, the only option I might recommend double checking is that you're not installing the game to a system folder on your computer, such as program files or program files x86. Uh, we're installing it to my GOG games folder, so there should be no problem there. Once we accept the terms of use and hit install, it should do a fine job of getting everything done. I'll go ahead and skip ahead here to the finished install just to save a little bit of time. Now that the game is installed, I do want to point out that it launches without any problems. GOG does a good job of ensuring that classic games install in modern systems, and Jagged Alliance 2 is no exception. Uh, just double clicking on the executable that's created on my desktop will automatically start up the game. It starts just fine. With the game itself installed, we'll move on to the mod pack. Uh, these are the 7-zip files, which are self-extracting zips, and I've downloaded them from the PBWorks website, where the mod itself is hosted. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the source of those so that they're easy for you to find. Unfortunately, 7-zips can have some trouble with overwriting other files, so this is going to be the part where things get a little bit uh, tricky. This is the step that originally caused me the most trouble when I installed everything the first time. And so what we're gonna do is double click these to run and the instructions would tell you that you should be using these uh, on top of the installed files and overwriting the base game with the files from the mod. Unfortunately, 7-zip uh, extractors can sometimes fail with those overwrites and nothing will happen with any of the files that it needed to remove. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to extract these files to the desktop and then later move them. So we'll go ahead and extract those. And once again, I'll just uh, cut ahead to uh, a point when this is complete. And with the new files unzipped, we're then just going to be dragging and dropping them into the directory the game was originally installed in. Uh, so we're going to grab everything through here. I'm just going to pull it into this file. We're going to rely on Windows Explorer to do our overwriting instead of the 7-zip executable. Uh, we should get a couple of prompts about what we want to do. And basically, we want to do replace the files in the destination. And that should get us this. Once that's done, uh, so that was the first of the mod files, and then this is going to be the patch that has subsequently come out for it. And we're basically going to be doing the same thing and just dragging it in. There won't be anything to overwrite from that, but then we're just going to run the zpatch.bat file. Press any key to continue. Press any key to continue. And patch completed and press any key to continue. If your keyboard lacks in any key, then the enter key will also work just fine. All right, with that, we've gotten the game plus the mod fully installed. Uh, there is going to be an ini editor.exe file. I recommend opening this up right away. And once the ini editor launches, uh, one of the things that causes a lot of people trouble is the the intro movie for the game that's going to play like every time the executable is launched 
Uh, if you're having trouble with, after you've installed everything and you try to launch the game, it just crashes right away, or maybe it goes to a black screen where you can hear everything, but you can't see anything, turn the play intro to false. Uh, once you've done that, you want to modify like anything you want to modify. This effectively is the mod right here and all of its associated settings. Uh, things like game resolution, uh, that sort of stuff can all be configured right here. And once you've done all that, uh, you can just hit the start button from within the mod. And now we're playing Jagged Alliance 2 version 1.13. Uh, everything will work just as you would expect it to. Uh, everything should be running fine. I haven't had any trouble, any crashes in uh, the couple of hours that I've put into it so far. Everything seems to be fairly stable. Uh, we'll go ahead and just back out of that. Now, uh, one thing I do want to point out, um, just to kind of get it all out there, is I'm doing this install on Windows 8.1. Now, Windows 10 is due to release very, very soon, uh, like in the next couple of days as of the time I'm recording this. Um, I probably won't be updating to Windows 10 right away until I can get confirmation of compatibility with all of my programs. I would say that's a IT best practice uh, that lots of people would uh, benefit from following. However, uh, soon Windows 10 will probably become the de facto standard. If I run into any trouble uh, with this install once Windows 10 is released, expect there to be an annotation from the me from the future somewhere on the screen here that will point you towards a solution for how you could get it working on a Windows 10 system. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this process, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd be more than happy to assist. Uh, my professional job, I work in IT, and I just saw a lot of people out there kind of struggling with a classic game that I have put countless hours into, and I want to make sure as many people that possibly can play this game uh, are able to do so, and they, they can get it installed, they can get everything working. So I'm more than happy to help anybody out. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, it helped you get the game running and you're super excited now, before you run away to go play it, feel free to leave a like or a comment below. Uh, I'd certainly appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.